Hello, my lovely anatomist and physiologist, Michelle Glass here, and welcome to another body system. Chapter six is all about the skeletal system. And like always, we begin by talking about, you know, what are the basic structures and functions of the system, and then, and then we dig deeper. So if we talk about the structures of the skeletal system, we're going to think about osseous tissue, which is really another way of saying bone. We're going to have cartilages. So we have both fibrocartilage and hyaline cartilage. And you know, you could sort of think under there about articular, articular cartilage. And then ligaments. And ligaments are the connective tissues that attach bone to bone. And that pretty much satisfies what we should be thinking about as our skeletal system structures. When we talk about the functions of the skeletal system, I think probably the most obvious one is support. And this um, includes like the framework. Maybe we can think about that framework for the body. You know, without that hard bone in the center, we're just like, a bag of mush, right? The hard bone is going to facilitate movement. Facilitate means to help. And here, what we're really seeing is that we're going to be creating both levers. That's for the hard bone. Um, the muscle is going to contract or pull on that hard bone. And then when we talk about our joints, we also are going to be getting fulcrums. Another important job here is to protect the internal organs, internal structures. So a little bit more inclusive than the word organs. We're gonna see blood cell production. And here we have a fancy word for blood cell protection. It's called hemoto. Um, poesis, hematopoesis, heme as in blood, hematopoesis is the production of blood cells, and this is happening in what we can call the red bone marrow. And then we also get the skeletal system to store and release. So anytime organ or tissue is storing something in the body, we should always remember like just like you can put it in the cabinet, you can take it out. So in the case of the skeletal system, we see that it stores and releases um, both minerals. And here we'll think about like calcium ion and phosphorus, especially. And it also stores and releases fats. And this is going to be found in an area called the yellow bone marrow. So we'll be talking more about these marrows as we go through. That's it for our starting point, our little introduction. Please stay tuned for how bones are classified. And as always, take care of yourselves and each other.